Uh, we have to talk about one of the most groundbreaking uh, artists politically in some ways, certainly artistically and commercially in terms of business uh, of our time. That would be Prince Rogers Nelson, who died today at the age of 57 in his home in Minnesota all afternoon. We've been running through our Prince memories and our catalogs, and one that stood out was the release of Sign of the Times back in 1987, an album that right off the bat with its first song confronted AIDS and violence and other issues of that time in a way that only Prince could. Fat skinny man died of a big disease with a little name. By chance his girlfriend came across a needle and soon she did the same. At home there were 17 year old boys and their idea of fun. It's being in a game called the disciples high on crack. Toting a machine gun. Today, President Obama released a statement on Prince's passing saying that, quote, nobody's spirit was stronger, bolder, or more creative, end quote. And we'd add that he was an outspoken artist on a number of issues, including recently Black Lives Matter. Mark, uh, on the political front, uh, what impressions are there in your mind about the great Prince? You know, so there are so many uh, celebrities now. That you're gonna, we're going to see a lot of deaths of famous people who touched tens of millions of lives. Prince is special, though. Prince was one of the greatest artists uh, of his in his field, and um, even when he wasn't being explicitly political, the power of his voice uh, and the way he used race and sexuality and talent to touch people and move people and make people think, quite uncommon for a rock star. You know, you think about this year, we've lost David Bowie, we've lost Prince. A friend of mine wrote to me today and said, you know, there aren't new ones in the pipeline. You know, there's no new Prince, there's no new David Bowie. You know, he was radical and political in terms of how he ran his business, in, in almost more than in the way that he was an artist. That picture we had up there where he had slave written on his face was, was when he was in a great debate, dispute with his record label about who was going to own the rights to his songs. And he waited out Warner Brothers for 20 years so he could get back the power of his own catalog, very much in the context of having seen a lot of African American artists over the course of their career exploited by record companies. He saw the internet coming. He saw technology changing things. He fought a long fight. He was a radical in the economic and technological wars as much as he was in the standard kind of political discussions that we have. But there's a politics there, too. And that way, he was, uh, he was an exemplar. People like uh, Jay-Z now follow the Prince path in order to get free from their record labels. Um, very powerful example. And of course, one of the most amazing uh, musicians uh, I've ever seen and that anybody has ever had the great uh, pleasure of witnessing.